Hey, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the Measurement Strategies Editor. So this is a very useful tool. It was introduced in version 2016. And let me just open it. You can see it here on the Quick Measure Toolbar. There's the icon, so I'll just give that a click. And there is the dialog box. So what this allows you to do is set default parameters for each type of auto feature. And you can save it, name it as a group, set it as default. So I'll show you how that works. So let me just first close that. And if you like to use quick features, that's holding shift and you get automatic feature recognition, like let's say this big circle here. So when I click that, it will use whatever defaults are set for those parameters. So if you look over here, so I'll just open this feature for editing. You can see I have 12 hits, 2 millimeter depth, sample hits disabled, avoidance move, and so forth. So that's stored in the registry for the default for an auto circle. So that is something a user can control ahead of time. So if I knew I had to measure a whole bunch of circles, I can even do the quick select, uh, select the surface first and do the whole pattern in one single click. And you can see I also have the quick path turned on, which is actually a separate kind of a tool I've talked about before. So that's a quick path. It's just showing the path as I create the features. So I'll just leave that on just for demonstration purposes. So there's a good chance I didn't want all these 12 hits for all these circles. I'll just undo all that. And what I'll do is set my default settings ahead of time. Let's say I just wanted exactly five hits per circle. So what I'll do is open the strategy editor, measurement strategy editor, give that a click. So over here on the left hand side, I can just scroll down and these are all the different auto feature types. So easy round slot, ellipse. So let's open up circle. And if I just with my mouse roll the wheel, you can see all the different parameter settings, all the properties of that circle. So if I change it from 12 to 5, I can change the depth as well, whatever I need to change, uh, all sorts of stuff, avoidance, move on, off. So now that I've made that change, what I'll do is save it as a group. I can call it whatever I want. Save five hit circle. Okay. And you can see it there at the top of the dialog. So the next step is I must set this group as a default. So I'll just give that a click and you can see it's saving there. I now have a green check mark beside my group name. So if I hit the drop down arrow, arrow you can see that I've, I've just done a bit of testing here. Um, there's factory defaults I can reset to that. Uh, different types of uh, number of hits and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to just exit the box and now you'll see when I do that quick feature select, I now have a five hit circle. So there's lots of different ways we can use this measurement strategies editor. For example, if I wanted to go through all of the types of auto features I use commonly, I can maybe turn off avoidance move. So I'll just set it to no, you know, just go through all the different types I use. Say, round slot, um, just go down there and disable that, so no to avoidance move. I could have a certain avoidance move distance for a whole bunch of different types of auto features. And let's do, I'll just do this one here, set it to no. So let's say we took the time to do this ahead of time, disable avoidance move for a whole bunch of auto features. It takes a bit of time, but it would be a one-time thing because I could just save it as a group. No avoidance move and save it. So then that just becomes one of my groups, one of my strategies, and I can just call that up at any time. Like I said, it's a bit of work at, on the front end, but it will always be saved and you can just use that in the future. So remember, if I wanted to do that, I would need to set that as the default group. And again, you can see the check mark and going forward, if I do an auto feature now, even let's say we wanted to do a, a vector point here or here, and in the code you can see that avoidance move has been disabled. 
right there. So I just know that programming after I've set that group as a default, it will have no avoidance move. So that might be handy if you're using the clearance cube because typically you don't want two clearance moves, the clearance cube and an avoidance move. So this would just be a way to disable all of them and use the quick feature select. So like I said, this was introduced in this format in 2016. Um, that was the year that they made the change, uh, the interface change, so all the dialog boxes sort of look like this now. We can resize them, which is handy. And if you open up the new exact measure GDNT, you can see that they all have the same look to it. So this is the rebranding that Hexagon has done over the past years. And you'll notice also that uh, this measurement strategies editor is now in the new curriculum, which is nice to see because it's a very useful tool and it's one of my favorite new features in the last couple of years. Okay, so that's about it. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on that uh, measurement strategy editor. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.